Hello Pars, this is Yun for the Hunter Tips of the Plunder Parts. This video is about the best defense layout called a triple fence. It's not a double fence, it's a triple fence, so it's going to be more fortified at the side, so the attackers, the enemy has no choice, they have to come from And I've been testing this uh, defense layout since uh, from the ranking of 600, so actually this is for the people who are now trying to go to more higher rankings. So it's going to be quite effective, uh, quite effective. But this was my first trial when I made it for uh, the triple fence. The problem was that when they were attacking from the upper part, look what happens. Uh, though I have a lot of uh, cannons in attack, but still, I was like I was destroyed by like ninety percent. So this wasn't the right uh, defense layout. So yes, from the sides it's very strong, but it was not strong. From the upper part so i'll show in the later movie that later video that i'll try to fortify the upper part and let's try to see oh that was quite painful attack and a lot of damage was being done to my base so let's try to but don't worry let's try to evolve and evolve and this will try to show you more fun than to see how this defense system gets more evolved and evolved that's the point of this guy now let's for the second defense, what happened was that there was attack from the bottom. So you can see as there's a like triple fence, like it's gonna be a very quite big burden for attackers to come in. So the choice is two, coming from the bottom sides or coming from the upper part. So that's it. So you can see that they're coming from uh, the uh, southern west side, so next to the, uh, to the sheep. You can see the people are now trying to come from that part. But yes, I have a booby trap and some little bit. Yeah, I have a booby trap. But the problem is the bombers, they're going to penetrate. They're going to break down the walls. And they're now they're coming in. But you can see that there is a double fence. But still at the corner where the wall and wall meets. That's going to be the breach point. You can see that bombers are now taking down the walls. And now all the troops are coming inside through that breach point so this one as I remember it was a quite big damage also I got about like more than 70% of damage was done to my base so yes I need some kind of fortification at the bottom part also so let's try to evolve and rectify modify my layout and let's try to see how it evolves mm, that was quite a painful attack so the first fortification Let's try to see how, let's try to evolve. Remember this attack? They were coming from the bottom side. You can see that bombers are coming from the, uh, the bottom side. They will break uh, where the uh, wall and wall meet. So that's going to be the breach point. So that means, let's try to make, let's not make those kind of uh, two walls meeting uh, like uh, perpendicularly. So by making these kind of a double fence, I think it's going to be quite, quite safe. They will, so when people will see this base, they will instantly think that, oh, that's that's not going to be the breach point. So it's not, I mean, you're, you cannot come from the bottom side because it's double fence. So that was the point. So try to make a double fence. But those kind of double fence are going to create another breach point and another, another weak point. I'll show you a little bit later video. So anyway, it was fortified, so that was quite useful when defending. So let's go to the another one. Remember the upper part? I had a big attack from the upper sides. So there should be some kind of fortification also. So as it is quite wide open, what we can do is that you can put a lot of buildings there, like these uh, guild house and what is that? And, uh, and this tavern. As you know, those two buildings are quite, uh, HP is quite high, and try to put a lot of these uh, huts and all these kind of buildings right there, and that's going to fortify the upper part. So try to put gather a lot of buildings at the upper parts. <coughs> Excuse me. But to fortify the double fence, what happens is that the, the triple fence gets smaller and smaller. As we have used a lot of fence at the bottom part, the thing is that the triple fence is going to be a little bit smaller. It's a little bit problem, but but 
we, we don't have any choice. So try to just fortify, upgrade the walls at each side where it's exposed by the triple fence. So try to make it more white at each side. And inside, try to spread out all the buildings. Try to spread out all the gold storages and rum storages and all these uh, attacking defense systems. And try to put all the cannons at in a row so that's going to be a very strong defense system from the bottom part so these this layout has a quite a very strong directional stuff so if you come from the bottom you're going to be killed by these uh, very concentrated gun towers and try to fortify and that one that point is going to be the breach point so if you have a double fence and when the single fence meets that's going to be the breach point the where the perpendicular the two walls meets and today's conclusion for this defense layout you can see that it is the best uh, layout i have ever seen because you can see that though i'm in the ranking of 600 it's below 21 percent of damage that's really a nice defense system so try this when you go to upper rankings so both like 300 400 500 Try to have these kind of triple fence and try to fortify at the bottom part. Try to fortify the upper part. You're going to be well defending. Let's try to see uh, another attack. You can see that they're attacking. They're trying to. They are breaking the walls right where the the two walls meet. The double fence and the single fence meets. That's going to be the breach point. You can see. So try to fortify that part. Just know the if you can understand the AI that means you can fortify that part right so you can see that when they're entering that side they're going to be dead so this is kind of understanding of the game try to understand the logic it's going to be much better for you to defend hmm. <clears throat> excuse me okay so that's uh, something like 13 percent or 21 percent as i know and that one, let's see, it's 70% of damage, quite low. Let's see how it's been done. And and this kind of, see, you can see this encompassed islands also. Let's see where he's going to be attacking from. Now he's going to be attacking these, okay, he's coming from the upper part. Look, now he's coming in. Uh, the parachutes, the Sky Riders are coming also, which is quite strong. And, but there are so many buildings to break down and then there's all uh, defense systems are now starting to working and they're all dead before coming inside a building. So actually no gold storages or rum storages were damaged. And this uh, attack was about, let's see, 11% only. Very nice building, I mean, very nice uh, layout in the 600 rankings. I mean, everybody in the 600 rankings have high uh, upgraded units, but if it's about like 11 to 70 percent, it is about the defense layout. This makes a huge difference. Okay, so this guy's coming from the sides. Look what happens. As it is a triple fence and as there is a kind of a gold, uh, I mean, they're coming diagonally and then they're coming inside but they've been hit too much and you know, the juggernauts are coming in but because of the buildings I mean they're trying to hit the nearest buildings they're going down instead of coming inside of the main base <laughs> so it's really good to have something a lot of buildings at the upper part okay so that's about 87 percent so I don't know why. Try to try to find out why I had an 87%. I mean, it was like 17, 21% only of damage, but this case, it was about 87%. And that was quite a huge attack. Okay, so a lot of units are coming in from the sides, but they're coming in diagonally. Okay. But the problem was the bomber. I think it's all about the timing of the bomber. When they breach a point in a really a nice certain point while the gunners I mean while the defense system are attacking the juggernauts they were successful making the holes at the walls and then they were coming all inside to this uh, breach point last time it was only like 11% even though they had the same breach point but the difference was that 
I think this guy had a little bit a lot of more juggernauts so that I think that made a lot of big difference and he had uh, this witch doctor and he was using this witch doctor very well strategically so always think about using the juggernauts very well and using the witch doctor very well the resurrection skill that's gonna be quite useful to break a very uh, defensive base And ooh, that was painful. I had about like 87% of damage, so let's try to see another video of like only 13% damage. Uh, so I think what caused this kind of big damage, I don't know. It could be some kind of a, oh, it's going to be all about the timing. When you deploy the units, when you deploy the juggernauts, when you deploy the bombers. I mean, when like the cannons are attacking the juggernauts and when the bombers can go through while it's attacking something else. The bombers alive and when they make a holes at the walls. That's going to be great. Anyway, when you see this uh, version, you can see this. They're coming from the sides. So they're walking all the way along to the sides. And it's going to take a long way to walk. Now they're going to try to uh, break down the double fence. And it's going to take a lot, of, a lot of time. So when though they come inside, you can see that there are going to be four gun towers attacking. And it's going to be quite very defensive. So though you go to the upper part, and the down part, lower part, same story. So try to, <clears throat> this is a little bit get a little bit boring. I mean, because of this kind of very similar tactics, uh, when you go upper rankings, you can see very similar layouts. Now they're doing all the double fence, then now they're doing all the triple fence. We don't see that much unique layout and that's a little bit shame. Anyway, so thank you for watching. So please click the subscribe button on this uh, the nine o'clock. And when you subscribe to my channel, you can get my uh, upgrades when I upload my videos. Thank you for watching.